Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here to finally show you my day-to-day -day skincare routine. As most of you know already, I have struggled with rosacea, dry sensitive skin, and large pores and acne. After a lot of research trying to figure out the cause and solution, I have found these products to help calm my sensitive skin and have noticed a big difference after sticking to this routine over the past two years. <laughs> So first, cleansing. I used to use the Bioderma Sensibo face wash but I noticed my skin was a lot more hydrated after using this CeraVe cleanser plus it's more affordable. I just use one pump. I know the way I'm washing my face seems a bit rough but I'm actually gently washing for around 20 seconds before rinsing. My skin feels extremely plump and moisturized after this wash and I highly recommend this cleanser to anyone with sensitive skin. I pat my face dry with a face towel that I change every day. Next I use hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary which is a humectant. It helps the skin to hold on to water, keeping your skin moisturized. I spray my face with mineral water, which I keep in a spray bottle before gently applying the serum. Just be careful with what products you use before and after this serum. It works better when you don't mix products together before applying, and I always make sure to gently tap the product in until my skin has fully absorbed it. Niacinamide and Zinc. This is another perfect serum for those with rosacea, acne, and enlarged pores. I always notice my skin texture is a lot smoother after using this. I did purge for around a month when first using this, but the deep inflammatory redness I had disappeared, and all the small bumps I got around my forehead and cheeks went away. I just used one large drop to cover my entire face and neck. It's always advised to use SPF to protect your skin from aging and getting damaged by UV rays. I use this tinted cream by Bare Minerals which gives a glowy radiant look and you can just spread it with your fingers. As I tend to leave the house a lot and I don't want to be self-conscious of my rosacea but I also don't want to use heavy makeup because it clogs pores and it's too much effort, I use this cream which is good for people with sensitive skin. It's gluten, fragrance, paraben free and more. I use the CeraVe moisturizer when my skin is feeling super dry or I treat it as a spot cream. For sun cream, I use this La Roche-Posay Invisible Fluid. I have tried other sun creams which either tingles my skin or it's too white and oily or my skin becomes flaky when applying makeup. So far, this has been the only sun cream that hasn't given me any issues, but I'm open to any other recommendations. This organic rosehip oil is a perfect replacement for a moisturizer. It doesn't clog pores or make your face oily. It has a perfect balance and hydrates my skin when it's feeling dry. Sometimes after showering, I'll use this instead of all the other products and then apply makeup. I only purged for a week when first using this and it really helps to calm down my redness. As you can see, my face is glowing. My cheek cheeks are shiny and smooth. This is my simple affordable AM routine. When removing my makeup, I use the Bioderma Sensibo Remover. I used to use simple wipes after realizing wipes are too abrasive for my skin type and doesn't fully remove makeup. When only applying SPF, I just use one cotton pad and gently wipe my face and neck. I always see beauty salons and makeup artists use this to remove makeup and now I know why. It's perfect for every skin type and you see results. It also doesn't leave your skin feeling tight or dry. I use the CeraVe face wash again and I don't use any type of physical exfoliator or brush as it's not good for rosacea skin types. 
Nighttime is simple and again it depends on how my skin is behaving but tonight I'm just using niacinamide as a first step before going on to my next step. It's important to keep using this serum if you have large pores. I then use azelaic acid which is perfect for cleaning out pores and encourages cell turnover. Every time I get a large spot on my face I will apply this over it for 2-3 to three days before applying any type of spot sticker and it really helps diminish the spot without scarring. I just apply a pea-sized amount to the areas where I break out the most. There's a lot more that you should do for your skin in terms of what you eat, what you drink and how fit you are. It's important to be clean on the inside before you focus on the outside. I drink honey tea every morning to regulate bowel movement and honey contains antibacterial properties so it's good for acne prone skin. You already know that I eat super clean according to my intolerances and this really helped get rid of my redness and acne. Recently, I have been supplementing as my body is deficient in nutrients. I have been taking this calcium, magnesium and zinc supplement. Magnesium can reduce stress and boost exercise performance. Zinc has wound healing and anti-inflammatory properties. Next, I take probiotics. I have been taking this prior to the Chinese medicine that I'm currently doing and recently. This really helps my gut and having a clean healthy gut means having healthier skin. Finally, I've been taking this skin, nails and hair supplement. It's only been a few weeks and I have noticed improvements with my nails. Now I'm waiting to see if it does anything for my skin. It does contain collagen which improves skin elasticity and increases blood flow to the skin.